Okay, we're here with two wonderful ladies from Latinas 413. It is a group that started recently, uh, especially during a COVID, and it has continued to grow um, over the last uh, several months. Um, and uh, they've received some exposure um, here locally. And uh, I've been meaning to talk to uh, some members of this group for some time, and we finally are able to, to make it happen. So uh, Liliana uh, Atasio. Uh, and Catherine Chacon uh, are with me. So uh, ladies, uh, welcome, it's great to see you. Thank you, John. thank you, John, for this invitation. So uh, tell me a little bit about how this all got started. Um, you know, there's a big social media presence, but what was the, what was the sort of genesis of this? I think- I'll let, I'll let Liliana go for that, yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, and we talk among us that, it was something we were calling it and feeling it. The need, because looking back on ourselves uh, when we came here, we we're like, oh my God, I, I know nobody. Uh, where do I find a uh, place to learn English? Where do I find community? Where do I find a place to celebrate my culture? So we're kind of, we need to connect. We need to connect. We, are, um, we started as a group of friends just to, join a group, a Facebook group, uh, and then more women started joining. That was um, back in November, right? right and right. how many, like 10 women, and then 20, and then 40, and now we're like 300 and... Holy 10? cow, there's yeah. that many, that many yeah. people. Wow, that's amazing. It really has grown very quickly. Yes, right. yes. and that's uh, also the, the entire project turned out to be now we're in plans to uh, turn everything into a nonprofit to make things uh, more serious and start projects with so many other women who are amazing and who just join and are bringing all of these amazing things uh, to the table and to the community. So mm, that, that's fantastic. So um, looking at that, as you are uh, working with people and, and uh, Latinas who are then reaching out because you're getting more exposure and there's a Berkshire Eagle article and um, other bits, um, you know, what are some of the uh, issues that are common uh, for uh, Latinas here in the Berkshires that you're hearing? Certainly the language, as you mentioned. Um, uh, Catherine, you know, what other things are you hearing? So one of the first things that and how this started is because during COVID, a lot of us needed a connection, another connection other than our families and see who else was out there. See if there was a Latin community, especially Latin women. Uh, sometimes we are home or sometimes we have um, other duties to take care of and we forget about the social aspect. And that was one of the first things that we wanted to do to connect. And as we started connecting, we started seeing things that they were interested, that they needed. Uh, so one of the first things um, is education. And with that, uh, we started thinking about a program for mentoring. Um, so people that are women that have more experience that already went through uh, college or that already have a career are helping high school students get into school or pursuing a career of their dreams or like how to get scholarships, how to get financial aid or uh, little things like that. So, or maybe uh, a person already has a business and then we have a Latina that wants to start their small business, maybe uh, as, a, as cleaning or um, something digital or anything like that. Like we have so many great ideas I've seen and uh, the experience of the other person will help her um, maybe achieve those dreams or maybe give her more resources, uh, not feel as alone. And so the mentorship program has been um, a way for them to find their, their dreams, for them to achieve piece by piece. And it's a six month program. Um, another one that we have is our financial literacy. Every Monday we make a post uh, about something that we need. It can be something very basic that um, might that we don't might think, oh, everybody will know this, but we don't because maybe we just recently arrived to the United States. We don't know the system. Mm -hmm. So for example, how to open a bank account, how to save for retirement, manage a credit card, uh, little things that are important for, our, for us and for our family. We also have 
our uh, culture and arts and music. So we want to help them uh, with more exposure to these areas, right? Because sometimes we forget about uh, the community and like what the music and art have the connection with us and emotionally connection. And we also have some other uh, community events. We maybe we went for a hike uh, with a couple of women and it was very powerful just to connect and just to be out there. To have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's that now? <laughs> to see people out there. It was it was great. It, it really <laughs> is. And especially I mean yeah. that was one of the places where you're actually able to see people and feel comfortable yeah. outdoors uh, during this whole COVID uh, scenario. Um, and so it sounds to me like it's, uh, you know, the language barrier uh, is an aspect of this. Um, and that's, and that's part of, of the, this great value of, of the group. Um, but then there's also cultural elements as well. And then there's also just the simple uh, basic challenges that come along with people who um, you know, have immigrated to uh, this area and are still trying to navigate things that may be simple, more simple yes. uh, to people who uh, were, were born uh, and raised here, um, I, I would suspect, uh, Liliana. Yeah, mm-hmm. things that we've been through as an immigrant, you know, and um, I learned English here and I started my, my career at BCC. So navigating all of the system was uh, really a challenge for me. And I don't have any family who can support me. I have two daughters here. Uh, they are 10 and 12. So it was really, really challenging just doing everything on my own. Hopefully, uh, I found great people like Eleanor and like connecting, but it's really exhausting when you're doing just everything on your own. So when you create Mm -hmm. these connections and this uh, powerful network of great women who help each other, who support each other, it's it's amazing all the things you can do and you can Mm -hmm. see happening. And, yeah. uh, and you mentioned Eleanor. So I, I believe you're speaking about Eleanor uh, Velez, my, my dear friend and the friend of many people <laughs> in this community. And, uh, and, and I you know, imagine um, that she has been very helpful through this uh, process, um, you know, and I think her overall mentorship uh, is so powerful. Um, so, um, so kudos to her always, and, and we love her. It's inspiring. Her, her career path also is really inspiring and it's pow- powerful just to see her and have her as, as a friend and as a mentor for me. But for many uh, students, uh, part of the multicultural group at BCC. Yeah, um, and uh, I can tell she's been impactful. Uh, she's mm-hmm. been very impactful. Uh, she certainly has. So, um, you know, looking at this, you know, you mentioned how this may sort of evolve, um, you know, perhaps uh, to uh, something that becomes a nonprofit status organization. Um, you know, you know, what would the mission look like for that? I, you know, is that is there starting to be a, a process to sort of um, understand what that may look like um, as far as a mission and a vision? Kathy, yes. we were just talking about that today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it because uh, we wanted to make it. Uh, a mission that will support, like that will mention community and support. Uh, we start drafting um, our mission uh, as serving the community, serving the Latinas in the virtual community. Maybe if it expands, we'll see. But uh, as of now, our, our focus and our mission is to serve the Latinas in the virtues, supporting them, giving them the resources and help them, helping them build their social and financial capital. So that's our, our mission right now. And our vision is just to change, like help change people's life, right? Uh, maybe make it a little bit easier you know, so for them not to have to go through so many loops and maybe issues, but because we're putting it out there, we are talking about big issues. We're talking about things that people usually don't talk. Um, we're hoping that this, it, this opens doors for people to um, to, to deal with this, to manage things, uh, things a little bit better and 
be uh, be more comfortable, have a, think about the future for their families, for themselves, and see themselves as a business owner, as a professional, as um, uh, seeing their kids graduate or any like homeowner, anything that any like the American dream that all we all want and that we all wish. Um, so that's from inside out. Like we see the whole thing, the whole perspective, and we also focus on how the women are feeling inside, what they what they need emotionally, because that's also a connection um, from whatever whatever project that you're gonna under under really under, undercome. Yeah. And, really and the companionship from Latinas mm -hmm. to Latinas. Yes. And uh, Liliana, and and I'll I'll start with you because every you know, origin story of an organization. Before that comes a story of yourself um, and what uh, your path has looked like and, uh, and what your journey has been. So Liliana, tell me a little bit about your story um, and, and how uh, you uh, came to the Berkshires um, and, uh, and what uh, your experience has been. Well, I have to say I love the Berkshires. It's my my home. I that I consider my home. I love this place. I just fell in love with the views and everything and the community. Mm -hmm. Really welcoming. Um, moving actually from Pittsfield to Great Barrington, and I'm really excited for this change. Twelve years that I, I've been here and I've been learning a lot and getting a lot from many many uh, members of the community. And from that, this is my way to, to give back. This is my way to help others uh, uh, from the many things that I receive, like education, like scholarships, um, um, mentorship, companionship. I found that here. And that's our way uh, to keep going with that um, giving spirit. Awesome, that's beautiful. And um, Catherine, uh, tell me about your story a little bit. Um, right. uh, you know, coming to the Berkshires. Yeah, I echo Liliana. I think um, the Berkshires has become my home. I've been here for more than half of my life. We immigrated with my parents and my sister uh, when I was 15 and we started, I, I went to high school, to BCC. Um, I never thought I would be a professional. Like I, I saw it as a more of a dream, but as I see people helping, supporting, Catherine do this, um, uh, maybe I was trying to look for answers. Like that sometimes it's like, oh, I wish I had this group when I was like 20 years old because that would have been so helpful, right? So this is the reason why we want to we want to give back. Like uh, right now, I'm a professional, I'm an accountant, and I work um, in, a, in a company in Boston. And with the pandemic, I came back to the Berkshires and I reconnected with my community. Boston is such a big community that at the same time, like you're part of something so big that you're not really making any movement. And it's a little bit hard uh, to see who needs help, right? So when I came back and Diana reached out and she, she was like, I have this idea, we can like help out, we can like do a lot of change. I'm like, yes, I'm on it. And I, I'm always looking for opportunities to give back to the community, right? Because I, I see so many kids, so many high school kids that they wanna go to school and they're like, oh, but I'm, I'm undocumented or oh, my parents don't have the funds to take me to school or I have, I have to work. A lot of times we have to work, uh, it's either work or school, right? Mm. So there is a way, there is always a way. And uh, sometimes they're like, oh, they have seen people being professional. They, are, they have their careers now. I think it's possible. So also we want to set a, an example and like a road roadway. So um, I love that, like, this is my home. Um, I love it. Uh, I've been here for more than half of my life. I have my family here and, yeah, so as of, as of now, only the Birchers and we, we want to start this and we want to make it meaningful for a lot of kids and families and women and empower them to do whatever they need to do. And you are doing it. Uh, so congratulations on all the success thus far, helping uh, others um, and uh, creating this uh, community. 
And um, how can people learn more about it? Uh, yes, you're out there on, on social media, but um, what are the various ways that you'd ask to, for people to uh, reach out to you? Latinas413 at gmail.com. They can reach us there. We also have our Facebook page, which is Latinas413. Instagram, same thing. Yep. Uh, right now, that's all we have. Eventually, we're, we're, we're working on our um, building our website. So it's coming. I will say, uh, whatever your goals or plans are, we're here. If you uh, have financial plans, academic plans, or just companionship, just hablar con la familia, we are here, really. Yep. So we're here to support you. We're here to help in any way we can. Yeah, and by the way, and, and as far as the diversity, I mean, I know you've uh, looked at where people are from uh, who have become a part of this, uh, uh, Peru, Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, uh, and uh, growing, and maybe that's just a small part of the list, but- um, um, We have fun. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, uh, we're really proud of our culture and we enjoy it and we love dancing, we miss that. I hope soon we can go back. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping to maybe do some more events like after uh, things get a little bit more normal, more in person, more to connect. Uh, it's it's amazing to see how many Latinas are in the virtues. Like I, I didn't have idea. Like I met a, a, a few and I thought it's already a, a lot of women, but then I see so many people that we have and it's amazing, amazing. And they keep growing and I love it. It is, and it, it uh, just um, it is a, a wealth of culture, and, um, and I'm so happy that we have a thriving um, community uh, of Latinas um, and uh, Latinx uh, in the Berkshires, um, and it makes us better, it makes us stronger, it makes us more uh, beautiful and wonderful, so thank you for everything that you're doing to, uh, to, to, to be there for uh, others who, um, who can use uh, the support and the help and that community. It's, it's really wonderful. Um, it means a lot. And, uh, and I thank you uh, for everything that, that you're doing. Thank you. Let me add something. Uh, yes. Because after the Eagle, we uh, receive a lot of um, uh, emails asking us how they could support this. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to thank everybody who reach out. Soon, we, you are going to be able to donate for this cause, if you care, uh, really just reach out. And but eventually, we'll turn out this in something more serious uh, with nonprofit of the Berkshires Center of the Berkshires. Fantastic, fantastic. So, ladies, uh, thank you so much for your time. I'm glad we're uh, able to connect um, and have this conversation. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I hope we can uh, help you get the word out uh, more uh, with with this interview. So, um, I wish you the very best and, and have a great weekend. Thank you, John. Gracias. Bye. Bye.